get on the team? What? I'm kind of not wearing pants. You're wearing my pants! Well, no, no, but do I get on the team or what? Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, you're in. You're good. You're... Okay. I want my pants back. The following contest will be held under hog tie. Match yeah. rules. A no disqualification ball count anywhere match in which the only way to win is by hog tying your opponent. Entry first, Haley from North Fork, Virginia. The Eagle of Justice, Sandy Jerome. Oh, we're going to see ourselves one interesting match now here on Aftermath. It is going to be WAW's first ever hog tie match. As our ring announcer uh, let us know, the way to win this match is to hog tie your opponent, tie up the arms, tie up the legs, and tie them together. And that way you will be the winner. It's Haley from Lakewood, California. The Sensei of Kevin Taylor. And now we await the arrival of the Sensei of Intensity, Kevin Chaos. Kevin won half of the number one contenders to the WAW Team Championship, but still has a little bit of unfinished business with Paul Clement and Sage Zarello. Here tonight, he will look to hog tie Sage for a victory on his road to Doomsday, which will take place in four weeks' time in December. Kevin and Katie will challenge the WAW Team Championship at Doomsday. Kevin circling the ring, the sense of intensity, likes to get that adrenaline flow, and he takes the full walk into the ring he comes with the let's do this. Kevin gonna be ready to do this here tonight. It's no disqualifications and the hog tie can happen anywhere in the building. Oh, slap to the face by Sage. And Kevin responds with a punch to the jaw, and here we go, we're underway. This hog tie match, a first in WNW history here on Aftermath. Starting things off, Kevin Chaos with a fire of intensity. Here he goes, continuing. We still have two more matches here to come, ladies and gentlemen, here tonight on Aftermath. We are going to see Major Morpheus Berenci against JT Lambo, and then the biggest Aftermath main event in history, a six-man tag-in Hall of Fame challenge for the WAW Championship. FO, Gino Diomedes, Jersey Devil, Dirty Dealer, Sin, and making his first appearance in, geez, it's got to be well over a year, the living curse, sick. Oh, Kevin Chaos gets dropped on the top turnbuckle by Sage Zarello. Now he's got him up by the legs. What are we going to see here? Got him in a wheelbarrow position. Oh, wheelbarrow suplex by Sage Zarello. Takes Kevin Chaos and lands him on his back and head. Sage now has the rope that will be used to tie up your opponent. It looks like Sage is going to undo the tie now. He wants to tie up Kevin Chaos and get this one over with. He's starting to tie him up already. He's got the legs uh, semi-wrapped now. Kevin's starting to wiggle around, and he does, shoving Sage off. Kevin goes underneath. His feet are tied together. Drop kick, and he frees himself on the drop kick. Kevin Chaos, what a resilient way to get out of the ropes there. Drop kicking Sage and freeing his feet, but he got kicked right in the head by Sage Zarello and right back down on the mat. And Sage now resume. No, he's not. He's not resuming his uh, hope to tie up Kevin. He's tying up Kevin's neck and a hope to choke Kevin Chaos. I can do whatever I want. And Kevin Chaos thrown over the top rope and down to the floor. And Sage pulling on that rope. Kevin now being choked by Sage Zarello. Kevin trying to get on the apron, and he does. But he fell right back off. He is hanging off the apron, ladies and gentlemen. He's being choked, and he is freed and let down by Sage Zarello. 
That choking there could be enough to allow Sage to tie up Kevin, but instead, Sage has a steel chair. Oh, and he gets the chair drop kicked right back into his face by Kevin Chaos. Sage ate the steel there as Kevin's feet hit the other side and sent it driving right into the face of Zarella. Kevin now setting up a steel chair, the same one that he just drop kicked into the face of Zarello, but he heads back into the ring. Oh, over the top rope. Kevin Chaos springing himself over, taking down Sage Zarello. What an acrobatic move there by Kevin Chaos. Grabbing hold of the ropes and throwing himself over the top, taking Sage out. And now he's got Sage up. No way, he's going for the chaos effect on the steel chair. No, oh, Sage counters down into a DDT. Sage now has that steel chair folded up, putting Kevin onto his back. Sage has the chair. Oh, off the top of the head of Kevin Chaos. He just swung right through the skull of Kevin Chaos. Sage now bringing the rope out to the outside. And it looks like Sage may now be trying to hog tie Kevin Chaos. Starting off with the hands. Kevin still has his, free, uh, his feet free, combine my words there. Kevin still has the feet free to kick Sage Zarella with. Sage working on those, oh, see, there you go, the loose feet. Kevin's hands are tied up. But now he's on top of Sage with a body scissors, and he's using his hands tied together as a weapon. He's choking the life out of Sage Zarella. Kevin continuing to choke away at Zarello. Kevin freeing his hands from the rope. He's got the steel chair now. Oh, across the skull of Sage Zarello. Kevin grabs the chair once more. And oh, he hits him again with the steel chair and Sage Zarello goes down. The chair flew out of Kevin's hands and Kevin swung with such force he fell over. Kevin with the chair down across the back one more time for good measure. Sage's legs are already half tied up. Kevin now going after the hands of Sage. He's driving a knee right into the lower back and uh, Sage's big old ass to put on some weight. Kevin now has one hand tied. He's going for the other hand now. Kevin's got the right and left tied up on the hands. Now all that's left is the feet. Kevin going after the feet. He's got him. He's tied him up. Kevin ties him up, and this one is over. Sage Zarello tied up. Sage gets tied up and loses this first ever WAW Hog Tie match. Kevin Chaos took a lot of punishment in this one, but in the end, he came out on top, rolling back into the ring. Sage is tied up on the floor. Red guy raising the arm of Kevin Chaos. Kevin going to the outside. He's calling for the microphone. He grabs it from the ring announcer. Looks like Kevin's got something to say. So let's take it down to Kevin Chaos. Tonight is the last time you'll be seeing Kane and myself fighting you.
And you're a piece of trash, PC. Yeah, you have more things to worry about than you two. And what I'm talking about is gold. Yeah, I'm watching titles. I'm watching titles. Full metal jacket, we're coming after you. Kevin Chaos informing everybody that this is the last night you'll see Total Chaos doing any sort of battle with Sage Zarello and Paul Clement as they have the team titles to focus on. They're going to be facing Full Metal Jacket at Doomsday for the WWE Team Championship as of right now. There's still time for FMJ to lose those titles, of course. But as of right now, Total Chaos is heading from Full Metal Jacket and Kevin Chaos has issued a challenge to Captain Vincent Sorello for next week. Kevin is none too happy with how things went down earlier tonight. He did not like Full Metal Jacket being anywhere near Katie, whether they were applauding her efforts or not. He was not a fan of FMJ being anywhere near him or Katie. He doesn't trust their motives and I can't say that I blame him, but now we see Riley She's been interviewing for the managerial position for Sage and Paul. Looks like she got herself into a few positions just a little while ago with Paul Clement backstage as she ended up wearing his pants. She's offering Sage a Twinkie. And Sage just says that Riley is hired. Paul already cast his vote. So it looks like Riley officially has a job as Sage and Paul's manager. Good for her. In any event, coming up next is going to be Morency versus Lambo.